Ah oh, yeah, let's learn phrasal verbs with Marvel Comics superhero, Doctor Strange. In case you're new here, we want to let you know that every week we make lessons just like this one to help you learn fast English without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without subtitles. In fact, Genesis says that our channel is her favourite ever and she feels confident when learning with us. So if you want to feel more confident with your English, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so that you don't miss any of our new lessons. Image guide and stat. We don't have time for that. You can't do it freehand. I can and I will. This isn't a time for showing off, strange. To show off means to behave in a way that is intended to attract attention or admiration. Most of the time we refer to this in a way that shows that we don't appreciate someone showing off. But what's with this guy Alan? Oh, I'm sorry. He recently came into a lot of money and he's not really handling it well. <laughs> handling it well? He's a big fizzy douche. I mean, the way he was showing off his car. But sometimes it can have a neutral connotation, as in this sentence. He'll get the opportunity to show off his voice in front of an audience. Find me something worth my time. I have a 68 year old female with an advanced brainstem glioma. Yeah, you want me to screw up my perfect record? Definitely not. To screw up means to fail at something or do something unsuccessfully. Example We screwed up on the English exam and didn't pass. Dr. Strange is a neurosurgeon that has never had an unsuccessful operation. That's what he means by perfect record. So by becoming responsible for the operation of an older woman who's not likely to live, he thinks he'll screw up his perfect record. I'm a little worried because things between us have been so great and I'd hate to do anything that screws that up. No, oh, sweetie, if you're gonna screw things up, it's gonna be while you're here, not while you're away. <laughs> This is different from when we say to get screwed or to get screwed over, which is what we'd say if we get cheated or put in a difficult position. Example, they should have won that game, they got screwed by the referee. Later in the movie, Doctor Strange is looking for answers that would allow him to heal after a car accident. He finds a person with a similar condition in this scene. I'd given up on my body. I thought my mind's the only thing I have left. I should at least try to elevate that. Before we learn about this phrasal verb, here's a tip. A mistake many learners usually make is that when learning a new word, they don't pay attention to which words usually collocate with them. When learning new phrasal verbs, there's usually one or two prepositions that they often collocate with. So when using the phrasal verb show off, you'd say for example, he likes to show off to his friends, and not show off with his friends. Do you get frustrated when trying to understand fast speaking natives? Then I highly recommend our Fluent with Friends course. In this 48 week course, you will learn with the first two seasons of Friends. You'll receive PDF power lessons every week, vocabulary memorization software, access to our Fluency Circle global community, and so much more. And the best part is, you can try it right now for free with our three-part masterclass. All you have to do is click up here or in the description box below to learn more and sign up now. We hope to see you there. I'd given up on my body. To give up means to stop making an effort to surrender or to admit defeat. To communicate a more complex idea, you'll need to put on after this phrase. Example, don't give up on your dreams. If in a couple of years you still have the singing bug, go for it. I guess you're right. It would be pretty dumb of me to give up on the career path I'm on. I can make half a mil my first year out of school. Please don't be upset. I, I just I didn't want you ending up with a bad grade and get discouraged and give up on the idea of going back to school. She draws power from the dark dimension to stay alive. That's not true. I've seen the rituals work them out. I know how you do it. 
To work out something or to work something out means to understand something or to find the answer to something by thinking about it. Here, Strange has been able to decipher or understand the complex meaning of the content of a book. Example, we need to work out a way of improving sales. In a similar sense, we sometimes say work out as a synonym of to calculate. We worked out all the math. Oh, I did more than work out all the math. I wrote a paper. <laughs> the three phrasal verbs we're seeing next are more advanced, so get ready to work out what they mean and how to use them. Oh, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. But I see through you. If a person is trying to lie to you or is perhaps twisting the truth, but you know that they're doing it, you'd say that you can see through them. Example, she saw through my excuse. I can't believe it. we're having dinner with Alton Bennis. I know exactly what's going to happen tonight. I'm going to try and act like I'm not impressed. He's going to see right through it. Yeah, he'll be looking at us like he's backstage at a puppet show. If you're enjoying this lesson, then why not check out our lesson with Iron Man next, where you can increase your vocabulary and improve your pronunciation. You can click up here or in the description box below to watch it straight after this lesson. And I went to a place called Conversage and I talked to someone called the Ancient One. And oh, so you joined a cult? No, I didn't. No, not exactly, no. I mean, they did teach me to tap into powers that never even knew existed. Yeah, that sounds like a cult. It's not a cult. Well, when you tap into something, you manage to use something in a way that brings good results. As an English learner, you will definitely benefit from tips that we or other teachers can give you. But at some point, you'll also have to tap into your creativity for finding the best method that works for you. Let's tap into some examples now. I think I've tapped into a different kind of magic. One that isn't based on cause and effect. It feels different. The last phrasal verb from Doctor Strange is feed off. It's our fear of death that gives Dormammu life. He feeds off it. Like you feed off him. If you feed off something, you gain strength, energy, or support from that thing. You could say a performer feeds off the energy of the crowd. There's no turning back. We are going to tell Clara and Gloria what we did. I'm scared, Phil, okay? They count on that fear. They feed off it. If you liked this video, then I recommend you go follow our Instagram. You'll find another common phrase of verb from Doctor Strange and much more content at reallife.english. It is one thing to question the official story and another thing entirely to make wild accusations or insinuate that I'm uh, a superhero. I so, never said I mean, you're a superhero. Didn't? Mm -mm. Well, good, because that would be outlandish and uh, fantastic. I'm just not the, the hero type, clearly, with this uh, Laundry list of character defects, all the mistakes I made, largely public. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The truth is, I am Iron Man.